Today I am working on designing a walking path, stepping stone or flagstone path uh, into the entry of this structure here. And the, the main door is right here in this nook area. And I did a rough draft of this building, just enough to get the outline of it so I can work on the landscape from here. Uh, but I have met with the homeowners and picked their brain for what they are looking for. And so I'm just going to walk through the steps of designing this path. Um, I've got the dimensions. I took measurements uh, on site. And so I know that my length of the path is going to be 65 feet, which I will plug in right down here in the bottom right. Your length calculator. Let's go 65, cool, and my width on it is going to be four and a half feet. Again, plugged in down on the bottom right. Let me just run that back. And then on this hard corner here, I'm going to soften that up using the tape measure tool, bring that out three feet to get my little notch here for reference, and bring that out three feet, and then I'm going to use my two-point arc tool to connect those dots, and put in that arc, clean up these lines. And cool, so there's my rough shape of how this will look. And the way that this uh, building sits, the path is not directly approaching, and it's a bit off to the center right here. So I can do that, move it over because it is coming in at an angle. And I'll keep that on that red axis so that everything else remains true. And then, as you can see, this lighting up here in blue is the topography that I've already added into this model using my sandbox tools. And it's a bit hard to work on top of this grid pattern. Uh, next, I'm just going to push-pull this up so I've got a clean surface. Bring that up five inches. <clears throat> cool. And now, I'm going to start freehand drawing these individual stepping stone flagstone pieces and uh, I'm already I've already locked down the material that I'm that I'll be using on this path and so I've got a rough idea of how big these stones are and they're anywhere from half an inch to three inches thick and so I'm just going to plug in some irregular shapes in here to represent uh, the density in which the stones will be placed and can kind of get an idea of how many they'll be throughout the length of the path so to kind of help with my uh, budgeting my uh, bid for this project. But the width or overall diameter of these stones is anywhere from 12 inches to 3 feet. Oh, and so that one didn't connect all the way, so you can see that gap right there. The scribble tool will help to kind of fix your errors and connect where it can, but something like that is going to be a problem uh, later down the road, so I'm just going to redo that shape. Put something else in. Boom.
just about there. Do a big one here at the end of the road. Okay, and next, what I found easiest to go from here is go back to my push pull tool and select the path. And instead of raising all of these stones individually, I'm just going to drop this path two inches. I initially raised it five. And that is going to give us the look that I'm going for. In reality, the stones, the stones will not be this proud on the path, but it helps to give a more accurate representation, um, some clarity and texture to the path. So from here, I'm just going to move over to my paint bucket tool and fill in these stones. And the way I'm going about it is... Uh, the stones that I'll be using <clears throat> are not uniform in color. And they are, there will be multicolored stones. So let me throw some of these in. Let's choose one more color. Great, so it looks like all the stones are filled in now. And the material that I'm going to be using in between the stones is decomposed granite. And I like that for a number of reasons, but largely because you can fill, you can place it as if it was sand or dirt, but it sets up firm. Um, and if I was to just fill this with sand, set the stones in sand, <clears throat> it's, uh, it's, it's more prone to being blown with the wind, kicked away, uh, through foot traffic, or a number of different ways that it can uh, find itself somewhere other than where you placed it. But the decomposed, decomposed granite is uh, really handy because it sets up firm and makes a good walking surface. All right, and so there is the stepping stone flagstone path that I will be installing this summer at this house. Uh, so it's simple enough, takes me five, 10 minutes to design on SketchUp here, and I can send that over to the homeowners. And it paints them a clear picture of what I will be installing in the field uh, at their place. And we can go from here and talk. You know, I, I would like more more regular shaped. I'm looking for something that's more, um, you know, if they're not fans of the organic stone shape like this, if they want something that is, is more of a structured 
cornered uh, paver stone, something that's man-made, we could go from that. Or if they like this kind of flagstone, irregular shape, we can do from that. I can talk about how dense each flagstone will be placed if they like this spacing, or if they would like to see more of the trail covered in stone and less with the decomposed granite material. But either way, it's a great, it's a great, uh, it's a great and simple way to work with customers, uh, homeowners, to make sure that they are getting exactly what they want. And SketchUp uh, proves to be a very valuable tool for uh, this work that I find myself in. So, anyways, hope you liked the video. Uh, more to come.